Also this midday, NBC5, family and friends are remembering a North Texas television pioneer. NBC5's longtime movie and film critic and TV host Bobby Wygant passed away yesterday. She worked here for seven decades, covering everything from entertainment to the JFK assassination. NBC5's Ben Russell looks back at her remarkable career. Thank you, Frank. And now, shall we take the viewers inside? It's nice to see you again. And the next time you need to take the girl to dinner at Chasen's, I'm available. Okay, <laughs> I'll do that. This is Bobby Wygant with some of the boss's youngest fans for Channel 5 News. Meryl, I have to start this interview by thanking you for making yourself available because I know you're pregnant. Do you try to follow Jillian Lynn's original choreography of Cats? As long as there has been television in Texas, Bobby Wygant has been there. I was always in love with Texas when I was a little kid. I guess movies and things. I just uh, always knew that someday I would go to Texas. Fresh out of college, Bobby and her husband moved from her home state of Indiana to Fort Worth to be part of an adventure, opening the first TV station in Texas, Channel 5. I came to the TV station two weeks before it actually went on the air. and. I realized, wow, this is the ground floor of something that's going to be terrific. At first, Bobby worked behind the scenes and presented some commercials. But in 1961, she began hosting a daily talk show called Dateline. I was the first woman to host a general interest television talk show. Before that, women had to do the housekeeping things and uh, the cooking and so forth. The staff was moi. <laughs> I produced it. Uh, I did my own research. For 14 years, celebrities, authors, and newsmakers stopped by Channel 5 to speak with Bobby. Bob Hope came a number of times. Lucy Ball came one time. We had um, Van Cliburn. He actually played the piano live on our program. Well, I know you're going to have a lot of surprises for it. Even Johnny Carson in the summer before he began hosting The Tonight Show. This is what people like about uh, uh, television today, the informality and the spontaneity. People love this. I know they do. That's one reason is I wanted to take over The Tonight Show. We could have stayed with doing Who, who Do You Trust, but uh, this kind of a show is about the only show left on television, which you can come out and do the things that uh, television originally started out to do. Smoking in the studio was not the only thing different about those days. When I was doing the talk show, we couldn't even say pregnant. We had to say in a family way or uh, expecting a baby, but you could not say pregnant. After Dateline ended, Bobby later became an arts and entertainment reporter. In the 70s, she spoke with Harrison Ford before Star Wars premiered. In the 80s, she interviewed another local talk show host who was about to go national. I find actors only want to talk about themselves or, um, or, or what project they're doing, which is exactly what I intend to do today, Bobby. <laughs> For years, Bobby also brought new attractions at local museums and theaters into the homes of NBC5 viewers. And years after retiring from full-time reporting, she still contributes to our newscasts. Oh, hey, so good to see you. In more ways than one. The people who love the business for the business, um, I, I just try to encourage them, and I have, I think, helped a number of them. My very first person I mentored is now one of the top reporters in St. Louis, and he's in his 50s. When we opened our new building last year, we dedicated one of our conference rooms to Bobby. I'm not trying for false modesty, but this is really pretty amazing, pretty amazing. A lasting tribute to a woman who loves reporting as much as she loves Texas. I have been a lifelong student, and I love being a student. I'm a Hoosier-born Texan, and I love that Lone Star flag. Last year, I had the esteemed honor to conduct the last television interview with Miss Wygant about her life and trailblazing career. She was nothing but gracious, witty, and an inspiration to us all. You can read much more about her life on our website right now, nbcdfw.com.